It has been days since a Syrian jet destroyed two buildings in Ansari, a rebel-controlled area of Aleppo city. Those who survived are still sifting through the rubble of what was once their homes. So many have already died, so much has been destroyed. That is why the opposition leader in exile, Maaz al-Khatib, says he proposed talks with the government. But there are some people, even those who escaped death, who are not interested. We don't want talks with the killer. We're against this. If negotiations start, we'll stand against it. It is a view shared by many of those who have been fighting this war. For these men, Moaz al-Khatib, the head of the Syrian coalition, had no right to abandon the opposition's policy of refusing to engage with the government unless President Bashar al-Assad stepped down first. We have a message to Moaz al-Khatib. Let him come and talk to the mothers of the martyrs and children. We don't recognize anyone apart from the fighters on the ground and the commanders. Our victory will come from God. Clearly the rebels have made gains, but they are far from winning. And it seems international and regional powers are moving away from the military option. So far, neither side is winning this war. That is clear in Aleppo. Since the fight for control over the city began last July, the front lines haven't changed much. This has caused a lot of frustration among the population here. Many have been internally displaced by the conflict. This used to be one of the largest industrial complexes in Syria. It is now a place where people find shelter from the violence. For many here, an end to the war cannot come any sooner. There is no other choice but to reach a political solution. This will please everyone. It would solve the conflict and people can return to their homes and the bloodshed will end. To an extent, Khatib's proposal has popular support, even among some brigades in the divided armed opposition. Muaz al-Khatib represents the opposition. He is honest and a revolutionary. What he suggested is acceptable to stop the bloodshed. It should stop. It is enough. Enough. The state has been weakened, but it is still so ever-present. Clearly, the crisis in Syria hasn't been solved by military means. But it is still a long way from a negotiated settlement between the government and the opposition. After all, the demand of the opposition is that the head of that government steps down. Zana Khudr al-Jazeera, Aleppo City.